This presentation includes Chapter 4 of the thesis titled Airport Mobile Internet, which is a separate research paper titled Airport Mobile Internet as an Indication of, of Innovation. This research was carried out during 2013. It takes a database of some of the largest airports in the world, looking at their commercial revenue as well as their website. The paper defines uh, an innovation model based on innovation theory and evaluates data from airport websites as well as airport applications and identifies four real innovator airports taking into account some of its characteristics as for instance geographical locations. The problem identified for this research paper about commercial airports is the following. Customer airlines are pushing airports to lower prices and at the same time shareholders are pressing airports to be profitable. One way for airports to please both stakeholders has been to develop commercial revenue. However, consumer trends, security developments and political changes have made airports much more challenges to develop this commercial revenue. To overcome all these challenges, airports need to innovate in order to adapt to this new reality. Looking at recent trends, internet has changed the way many business operate, including the air transport. And mostly, most recently, it has been the internet access from mobile devices. If we look at airport passengers, now, well, in 2014, more than 80% of passengers were traveling with a mobile device with access to the internet. And airports, are providing those mobile applications to give service to those passengers. These mobile applications, if we attend to uh, Orfita Sinter's definition, the conversion of technological knowledge into new services, could be considered an innovation. Two main objectives are defined for this research. First is by looking at those mobile applications, which we just described that can be considered as innovation, is to define which airports are real innovators. And second objective is to understand the characteristics of those uh, innovator airports, such as sa airport size, geographical location, or important one, commercial revenue. The methodology used is first to define an innovation model, and second, to use web and application evaluation method brought from the tourism research and applied into the airport business. The innovation model defined for this research uses, first, the innovation model developed by Rogers back in 1995, which only takes into account one innovation and the time of adoption. This innovation model, taking into account some critics to Rogers' uh, theory, has implemented two changes. One is to include the degree of implementation of each innovation and to analyze two innovations. The second innovation taken here has been the PC website of airports. For a database of 75 airports, Airport websites were evaluated, as well as mobile websites and applications when available. And the data gathered allow us to apply the innovation model just defined. Royers reckon that innovation process normally follows a bell-shaped curve. The airport adoption of a PC website was checked for normality. However, following the G-square goodness fit, significant differences were found to the normal distribution. 
and the hypothesis was not supported. However, doing some adjustments to the analysis, that includes taking away some of the latest adoption, lead us to conclude that can be considered a normal distribution. Innovator airports were the ones who adopted early the innovation with a high degree of implementation, could be represented with the square. And 10 airports are identified under this category. But for real innovators, it was necessary not only to be innovators adopting mobile uh, applications, but also when they adopted the PC website. In this second case, they were represented here, and there were 15 airports. So the airports which appear in both innovation process are considered real innovators, and four airports were identified. Amsterdam, Copenhagen, London Heathrow, and Stansted. Three characteristics were analyzed to explain innovation of airports. Size, geographical locations, and commercial revenue. For the first two characteristics, model based on ANOVA were applied to conclude that size doesn't seem to explain innovation, however, geographical lo uh, location does. For the commercial revenue, the card plot was used. And the result showed that unitary commercial revenue per passenger tends to be higher for more innovative airports. The conclusions are the following. First, the innovation model defined was successfully applied and helped to identify four real innovator airports. Second, innovation doesn't seem to be related to airport size. Third, innovation seems to be related to geographical locations. And one proof is that these four airports have a longer distance of less than 1,000 kilometers away. And last but not least, innovation is positively related to commercial revenue. Therefore, Innovation seems to be a good ingredient to develop commercial revenue. Thank you very much for listening.